sensational, but I would have expected nothing less. Well, thank you very you, much. You are the most fabulous Canadian I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. There are uh, quite a few fabulous Canadians now. Are there? William Shatner. Celine Jim Dion. Never mention her here. <laughs> I'd rather not say. What happened? Look, don't ask me again or I'll have you thrown out. <laughs> I'll have to go join that other guy. Well, I really like your, are they slippers or shoes? They're shoes. Yeah, they're very nice. Thanks. And they've got, uh, they're Christian Le Baton. I went to his store when I was in Paris. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, and he had those in the store. Yeah, they're really good, except they almost got confiscated by airport security today. <laughs> They do look a bit weapony. On I was like, no, 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 I have to wear them on the Craig Ferguson show tonight. Please, please. And now, look, they're and, here. And that, that worked? Canadian pleading, yes. Oh, Cana Wait, was it Canadian security or American security? American. The Canadians would have confiscated them. Really? For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Which part of Canada are you from? I'm from a small town called Port Perry, Ontario. Mm. <laughs> it's close to Toronto. Oh, I've been to Toronto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. But you don't call it Toronto. You say you call it Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Or the T dot. Yeah, the T dot. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't live there now, do you? No, I live here. But our our barbecue system is completely different. <laughs> of course, you? I, that's the first time I've ever seen that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, I mean, it seems a perfectly natural. You use propane in Canada? Yeah, we do. But I, that barbecue still doesn't work, which is the weird thing. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you, I think of you as being someone, something of a style guru. That's, that's kind of what you do, right? Yeah, I'm a stylist, correct. Well, well I, I, not, a, not a chef. I'm not well, a, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's not a lot of barbecuing involved. In no, 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 it's no, not no, like no. you go, well, Cher, we thought we'd uh, you know, barbecue something and then look at your wing. I would barbecue anything for Cher. <laughs> Have you ever now is that is that very competitive in the stylist world to get the big, you know, star names like Cher or um, Celine Dion? <laughs> Don't say her name. That's right. Are you allowed well, to say it? I can say it. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. Apparently I'm allowed to yell too, but uh, anyone else does <laughs> they're out the door. I won't yell, I promise. Oh, you will, right. Um it is a little competitive. I yeah, we're all kind of um but there's a, there's enough people to go around, definitely. A lot of a lot of women need dresses. Yes, they do. Uh, <laughs> do you find yourself being hypercritical? I mean, I know that the, these shows where the, the, they really tear people apart on the red carpet and stuff like that. Are you very... Am I hypercritical? Yes. Just... No, you know, I, I, my, the whole environment at Brad Goreski Incorporated is oh, very... very well done. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, Five no, people no, clapped. No. Yes. Um, there are, we're very celebratory there. So like when we find the right Does that dress, mean you don't have sex? <laughs> no. No. That's different. Oh, right. Okay. No, we definitely, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're kind of selling sex too. Do you know well, I mean? it's a kind of sexy thing, isn't it? You, you yeah. know, you, you want to look, you want to have that oomph. Exactly. Oomph. oomph. So yeah, know yeah, the words. Oomph. Yeah, that's yeah. why I put on this. I thought it was kind of sexy for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? It is. It is sexy. Right? You look great, and I think uh, a well-cut suit is sexy. Yeah, yes, it is. It is. It is. better. Than I wish I had one. You're uh, wearing one. It's all right. Yeah, it's, yeah it's I like fun. that tie, though. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's nice. stri horizontal stripes. You know, I thought I could take yeah. a risk. No, you did. It's yeah. nice. It's paying off. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of matches my shoes a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I think about uh, the thin ties is they make you fatter, don't they? Well. Oh, Not the, fat, you. the fat makes you fat. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the rule, I think. You're a big yeah. bow tie wearer, aren't you? I am. I couldn't do that. Why? Fat neck. No. Yeah. No, you have a good neck. No, terrible neck. Really? Yeah, very fat neck. If I put two, what if you wore a big bow tie like I'd this? Look, you know what I'd look if I put a bow tie on? Like a prize pig. <laughs> I don't believe that. That's true. People would be coming up and I'm gonna rosettes send you, on me. I'm going to send you a bow tie. No, don't. <laughs> Why? You won't wear it? Oh, I'll wear it if you send it, but I'd feel awful about what it. What if Celine Dion sent you a bow tie? <laughs> Do you know Celine Dion? I wish. Oh. That's like a Canadian, that's like meeting the Queen in Canada. Hey, she's like the Canadian Barbara Streisand, doesn't she, really? Absolutely. Right, yeah. Remember yeah. when they did the duet together? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your dream, do you have a dream kind of uh, style icon that you would, you'd, somebody you'd love to really kind of put a dress on? 
In um, in the present tense, or yeah, or any or any time living, or, or well, know. Marilyn Monroe. Is a, I've I've been obsessed with her since I was in like sixth grade. I actually mm -hmm. did a school project on her in the eighth grade and made this like kind of scandalous video about her. Really? Yeah, it was just I, it was very a very strange like homage to somebody. Hmm. Yeah, it was kind of sordid. <laughs> Just a I, lot of scandalous information. I think, I think that's really healthy. <laughs> you do? Yeah, why not? I, uh, would, I would love to. Marilyn Monroe, I think, is kind of the epitome of glamour. And, um, you know, but there's like, I grew up in the age of Madonna. Madonna's like, like the be all and end all for me. The 90s blonde. Well, that, the 90s Madonna, I mean, now she's an English dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My parents wouldn't let me go to her concert at the Sky Dome, and I'm still devastated from it. Yes. That was when I was 12. And I'm you don't seem that now. devastated. You're a confident, <laughs> happy individual, aren't you? Mm, there's the lurking, like, devastation on the inside. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Tears of a clown? Yes, very much yeah, so. Yeah, me too. Crying on the inside. Yes, mm. yes. That's what this and this covers up, yeah, yeah. the sadness. <laughs> not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, I think really. You do? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It gives me a little bit of an edge, I think, if I'm a little bit more somber, like, on the inside, as opposed to all, like... All the time? I think you're probably a bit somber. You've got a darkness, I think. A little bit. Well, yeah. all Canadians kind of do. A little bit. In the, yeah, in the winter months, they get a little bit... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, now you don't want to go to Canada. You don't, no. Yeah. Stay away. Do you find, as a Canadian, if I was to hand you a hockey stick, you'd lose your Crikey. mind? Uh, yeah, I would lose my mind because I wouldn't know what to do with it. Well, <laughs> yeah, that, well. I never played hockey. You sure you're Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> we used to have skating days at school. And um, the boys would wear hockey skates, and I wore like red velvet Elizabeth Manley figure skates. <laughs> they were my sisters. <laughs> I really should I not like have said you. that? No, man. No, you should have. I think it's great that you did that. I, I really do. Yeah. God bless you. I'm Why not? not? I think it's great. You got to be who you are. You know you do. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, because yeah, if you if you be someone else, then you're an idiot. Basically, yeah. yeah, you're living. And you're a gonna lie. be. You're gonna be. You're, you're gonna be living a lie and you're not getting paid for it. That's right. Wait. Yeah. Right. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Uh, very quickly, uh, big cash prize, mouth organ, or uh, uh, what's the other one? Touch my glittery ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> mouth organ, glittery ball, but uh, or what? Or awkward pause. Yeah. Um. Let's do, did you say glittery ball? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do glittery ball. All right, all you have to do is just, uh, I'll turn it on and you touch it and we're out of here, all right? <laughs> That's what he said last night. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go away! Oh, sorry, I'm excited. Ready? <laughs> I am so excited you're back in the show. You're one of my favorite guests. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to one be back. Of, one of them. <laughs> Who are the others? Oh, it's just it's pretty much you and Kathy Bates. <laughs> oh, nice. So it's, good night. My favorite show ever. <laughs> I, I always like try and do something big for the vernal equinox, you know? Well, who doesn't? <laughs> Most people, I think. <laughs> anyway, look, I, I love the cover of the book. This Thanks. is this is color blocking, right? It is. See, I know about yeah, fashion. Totally. You you wear an orange uh, jacket and red pants, and that's color blocking. Yep. And then the blue shirt too, oh, and yeah. sparkly shoes. They don't sparkle on the cover though. That would have been a nice touch if they shimmer. That would have been great. Or yeah. or little little pop up feet. <laughs> that would be nice too. Yeah, like you buy the book, they go. Hey. Yeah, I'd like that, but I'm flying off the page. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good. Uh, now, is the, my life and style so far, this is a, it's a memoir? It is. There is. revealing things about your life? There are very revealing things. Really? Do I reveal them now? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, Is uh, it like, you know, like naughty, naughty, uh, dirty things? Or uh, uh, just like mostly clean things? Not, well, not naughty and dirty, but, you know, revealing about, you know, some dark times in my life. 
<laughs> which, which, where's that? Then? Uh, <laughs> that's in, this is all the this is all would, the good stuff. Here. Would this be a dark <laughs> time in your life? No, that was <laughs> that was one of the most fun nights of my life. Really? Where was this? That was at the Standard Hotel in New York at a Halloween party. I was the ja the editor for Japanese Vogue, Anna Della Russo, for Halloween. And That's normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> People got this? People hey. were like, oh, got it, Anna Della Rousseau, Japanese <laughs> Vogue. Totally. Really? Yeah, it was all fashion people. Oh, that's a, well, look at this. Hello, yeah. i got to get me one of those. <laughs> look that's, at that thing. That's just another day in the office. That's very Canadian. Yeah, it's a Chanel coat. It's really lovely. Thanks. Do you like Chanel? I love Chanel. I have a little bit of a problem with Chanel. Why? Um, Coco Chanel. Uh, Coco Chanel herself, mm. not the Karl Lagerfeld Chanel? Well, Carl Lagerfeld was he was very rude about Stella McCartney when she started out. I thought, Carl, oh, really? you old bitch. Are yes. you friends with Stella? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought, just because Stella McCartney's father, who is uh, Paul McCartney. Do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there he is. Uh, just because... <laughs> Just because her father is a famous rock star, she doesn't get a chance. Uh, and he was very rude about her. And she's clearly a very talented designer. Yeah, and she can make shoes like out of potato skins and cauliflower leaves. They're all vegan. <laughs> Did you not know that? All her. Do you all, get. Do you all get of her shoes clothes? and bags are like vegan friendly. Can you eat them? Probably. She doesn't use any leather or fur or anything. I think Carl might have been right then. <laughs> <laughs> no, and she has meatless Mondays in her office. Oh. Is this way too much information about Stella McCartney? <laughs> have you met Stella McCartney? I have. And was she nice? Loved her. I suspect she is nice because yep. I think you know, Paul McCartney is very nice. I've never met him. I know I can't because I do that thing with the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be fine. He'd love to meet you, I bet. No, no, I think you... Yeah. Especially with that mug. <laughs> it's good. I like. Are you mug. mocking me? No, I love. You're the mocking mug. me. Uh uh. I have a mug with. Oh. What, what Halloween party was this? That wasn't Halloween. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not a book about drag. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Well, there's a lot of drag was, pictures <laughs> in here. That, that was in theater school. Oh, there's. Uh, yeah, I oh. like dress up. Those are my jeans with Marilyn or with Madonna on them. Oh, look at that! Yeah. That's a, just a regular little Canadian dude. Yeah, my dad in the background cooking and our cat. We kept it real in the book. Yeah. No, the book is like it, it's it's about my life and it's about being um, you know growing up in a small town in Ontario, Canada, and mm. being a weird little fashion kid and being bullied and. Were you bullied? I was. Oh, that's yeah. that's I I find that terribly upsetting. It was upsetting. Actually. Yeah, no, it's horrible. It's it's really horrible. I think there's a there's a real movement now to try and stop that kind of thing with kids, isn't it? Well, that was part of the reason why I wanted to get my story out there because I very much, you know, from my bullying, uh, my bullying years in school, I kind of, I went into a, a, a year of, uh, a few years of abusing drugs and alcohol. Oh, and you've come yay! to the right place. <laughs> yeah. All right. All so right. I, I, I made it through that. I got sober when I was 23 years old. Good and I've been for sober you. ever since. And That's uh, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Well done. And so I wanted kids to know and people to know that, like, you know, my life is really great now. And, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful for the life that I have. But it's been a long road and I've been through a lot of things. It hasn't been all bow ties and glasses and sparkly shoes. <laughs> I've been quite a lot of bow ties in the last <laughs> Yeah. I think it's such a sad thing when kids bully other kids. I, 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 I was bullied a lot as a child. You were? Yes. Why? Scotland, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what does bullying entail in Scotland? Violence. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, what was the bullying like? Were you I, was never, I was never beat up, but I was called names like all day long. I think I've been bullied by the press. <laughs> well, that's why when people say to me, isn't it so hard working in fashion? I'm like, no, it's way harder growing up in, in Canada as a gay kid. Let me yeah, tell you. yeah. When did you know you were gay? When you had sex with another dude? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah. That's, that's when you know for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know when you have sex yeah. with another guy and you yeah. like it that you're probably gay. Right. That's yeah. a sign. That's uh. definitely one of the signs. <laughs> and also seeing Tony Danza come out of the shower at the beginning of Who's the Boss. Yeah. Um, I, I remember being really young and being like, wow, that's kind of amazing. So that was, <laughs> it's kind of all because of Tony Danza. That's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of find that lovely in an odd way. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just think it, there's something lovely and rather kind of 
Uh, nice. That I liked a muscular Italian guy. Well, yeah. Yeah. I still Although I've met, I've met Tony Danza now, you know. Right? You have? Yeah, well, a little while ago. And how was it? Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay, good. I actually met his daughter and I told her, no. I told her that um, he's the reason why I was gay. It didn't really... No. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, Brad, I don't know that it, Tony's the reason why you're gay. <laughs> he, I, he's a good part of it. I think so. And Madonna. But we've been over well, Madonna yeah, before. Well, yeah, yeah. Madonna, uh, I mean, you know, Madonna. You're, uh, you don't like Madonna? Of course I like Madonna. Okay, He's good. one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the arms, actually, recently that's put me off. Do they own. scare you? Yeah, they do. They're, I think she's gone too far with the arms. You know, that, mm, you know. She's getting ready for a world tour, though. That's what I think it's about. Well, they're doing what? Moving furniture? <laughs> <laughs> she's moving her own set pieces, yeah, I guess. No, it's like, oh, oh just, and she's, and the, and the English accent, you know, she's from Detroit. That's like, yeah, that's you know. very so true. So she looks like a muscly cockney. <laughs> it's like, a cockney. It's a cockney? You don't yeah. know what a cockney is? Uh-uh. You're not gay at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, a Cockney is someone uh, from London who was born uh, within the sound of uh, Bow Bells. Uh, that's what a Cockney is. Someone who talks like that. The sound of what bells? Bow Bells. It's a church. Oh, okay. And if you're born within the sound of these church bells, you're a real Cockney. Oh, mm. but people don't want to be a Cockney. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, okay. So people, Cockneys. People in, like, Oliver Twist are Cockneys. Yes, very well done. See? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No? I, no, I'm just looking at my... How, long, how much are we over? Six minutes. Six minutes over. Um. <laughs> well, well before, before I go, I have something I wanted to um, give to you just as a, little, as a little gift. Do I guess what's in your box? <laughs> you can. <laughs> All right. Is it a uh, woodchuck? <laughs> can I open it? Yeah, of course. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, or get in uh, there. Get at it. Yeah. Come on, rip it open. So many pieces to this puzzle. There are. <laughs> There was a bag, too. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. It, were you worried about security? What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's from Tom Ford. Is it actually Tom Ford? I wish. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he also made me gay. <laughs> oh. Strike that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. It's yeah. really in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he doesn't want you to get, he doesn't want you to get at it. <laughs> There's yeah. another layer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Something's... <gasps> oh, it's a bow tie! Yay! Hooray! Yay! You said you could never wear one. I'm gonna try! Oh, good. Brad Garowski, everybody! Over, over, over. Yeah. My, I'm, a little I'm a little concerned because of tonight's audience. I'm a little concerned, Jeff. Yeah, why? Well, because my next guest is a Canadian. Oh, dear. Yeah, and, and you know what they're like? They're, for some reason, they've got some weird thing about Canadians. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> My next guest is a Canadian. He's the star of It's a Brad, Brad World, coming back to Bravo next year. He's a good friend of the show. He's an adorable, lovely Brad Goreski, everybody. Brad Goreski. <laughs> Wow, you, you do look great. I'm sorry about the uh, Canadian hating audience. I don't know what the hell's going on. I know. I've never encountered that before. But maybe I can win them back by saying I've never been to Vancouver. <laughs> I don't think that did it. it but did never it. mind. You look great, though. I like that you've chosen velvet for this evening oh, because thanks. I think it's Christmassy. It is. Yeah. It's Christmas spectacular. What this is? Yeah. Not this show. You, are you doing a Christmas spectacular? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, right. On my body, it's a Christmas spectacular. It is. Yeah. Well, you sh can I see? Get these shoes up here. Look at this. See, that's your... Yeah. That's fantastic. It's a party on your feet. It is a party on your feet. See, there's velvet, there's metallic piping, and then there's all these great big stones. I have to tell you, though, I'm a, if it's Project Runway, I'm going to bring you back. Bring come, because I've got to tell you something. <laughs> little worried about the socks. Why? I think they're a little muted. Really? Yeah, I think, I think you could have gone a little more pizzazz. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I, I think, you know, I would have gone, you know, uh... I would have gone Guys and Dolls, you've gone uh, Les Miserables. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh. it's, um, I'm so excited about that movie. Are you in it? 
I wish. I, I so, well, in my mind, I'm in it. Now, the, the, it's coming out on Christmas Day, that movie. It is, and I already have my tickets. Really? Nine of them. <laughs> Are you going to go and see it nine times on Christmas Day? No, for nine people, but there's only four confirmed right now. But just in case more So people... you've got five people you... Well, that's about whoever watches the show, the, the entire audience <laughs> of the show. <laughs> you, the, you could... Uh, you're going to take nine people to see it? That's your Christmas thing this year? Yeah, well, if you're, if you're gay and live near a movie theater where Les Miserables is showing on Christmas Day, if you don't go, you get your card taken away. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. You get, <laughs> get into trouble with the authorities. i got to keep my like, card. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> Someone wasn't at the theater. Exactly. They're uh, coming to get us. The, uh, no, I, why are you so fascinated about it? Are you interested in the French Revolution? Uh, no. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fascinated by Anne Hathaway, Hugh Jackman, Amanda Seyfried, and Eddie Redmayne. Mm, that's the thin guy. It is, with the big, big lips. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing for you? Do you find that attractive, big lips? <laughs> Am I red like that curtain now? Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you, but you That's did bring okay. up the Eddie Redmayne's lips, which are very pouty. I'll they agree. are. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, I, I, I think because I don't have big lips, I really like them. I think your lips are all right. Really? Yeah, they're Thanks, fine. You, why, why are you harshing yourself about your, your lovely lips? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Maybe now I'll get like a lipstick campaign or something. <laughs> why does everything have to be commercial with you? I say, <laughs> I say you have nice lips and suddenly it's like you're seeing retail opportunities for yourself. <laughs> for things that will never happen. No, Craig. come on. They might. <laughs> never. Why not? It could be ironic. It could actually yeah, I love it, irony. Yeah, that's what that's very fashionable. It's isn't very it? Canadian too. Alanis Morissette had that yes, song. But uh, ironically, <laughs> defined <Nothing's> ironically <laughs> wrong. Yeah, exactly. no. I was like, that's no irony. Rain on your wedding day yeah, is that's not, not irony. ironic. It's just that's bad the luck. weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. <laughs> I agree. Still, I'm gonna listen to that when I go home now. Yeah, but she's Canadian and you're Canadian, so she is. you guys probably know each other. I wish. Oh come on. I do. Celine Dion's the big one. I've already told I, you this. I before. had this dream about Celine Dion once. You did? Yeah. What I had was this, it? I, it's a weird dream. I had this dream that she, uh, like, she was drunk. I, and I don't think she drinks or, or, or she, uh, she, maybe she drinks, I don't know. Anyway, look, I'd never met her. Were you I drinking had, with her? No, no, okay. it's my dream. Let me tell you what happened. So, <laughs> she, came up to, she came up to me and she'd been drinking and she said, I've had a little too much candy. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, that was the end of the dream. <laughs> do you have weird dreams? All the time. Why do you think that is? Let's talk about your dreams. Imagine I'm your therapist and you're telling me about your dreams. Well, I always dream about dresses. Not on me personally, but for my clients. Like really? I'm, you I'm, really, you're really that committed to your... Oh, absolutely. I dream, about, I dream about like, the perfect dress. I dream about the bat wrong dress. I dream about not being able to find the dress. My assistant this morning was, um, was uh, also up dreaming about dresses and about not having enough clothes for a shoot. I dream sometimes I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> All right, sometimes I dream I'm wearing a dress, too. <laughs> I've seen you wear a dress a few times. I've worn, worn dresses before, sure. Yeah. Why not? Come Who on, cares? it's fine. What's the it's big cool. deal? It, summertime Everyone, with a pair yeah. of nice open-toed Eskimo <laughs> come on. <laughs> Some chunky statement jewelry, yeah, a red lip, yeah. you're good to go. Absolutely. Air everything out. Air it out, get yeah. the breeze going, a little bit of toe cleavage, drive the <laughs> sailor's wild. But oh, you yeah. never want the shrimp cocktail. What's the shrimp cocktail? When your toes like claw, oh yeah, when they claw shoes. like that. Do you know what? Do you know what I think is unfortunate? If a lady wears a shoe and it's too tight and a strap across, and you get the fat foot fold over there, <laughs> that's a bad. You can't do that. Or you also sometimes get the the pinky toe that's like like reaching for something that doesn't exist. <laughs> I see it sometimes. Like the shoe goes on, and then all of a sudden it's like whoa, where, whoa, whoa! I'm like, what are you trying to grab, little guy? Like get back in where there. Where are you going? We try to push them in. Oh, no, yeah. no. So listen, what's going on in your show this year then? What's, what new things have you brought to the Brad Brad world? Well, this season's really all about uh, me in the role of stylist. You know, my business is um, completely different than last season. I have lots of great clients. I've been traveling all over the world working with Kate Spade New York and a bunch of other people. They're handbag people, aren't they? They're, an, they're a global brand. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> so handbags. Well, they have yeah. handbags right. and, and ready to wear and all kinds of stuff. Right. So um, the show very much is following me and my. Do you go assistant. around the world to different cultures and teach them how to look like Manhattanites? <laughs> um, I go around the world and I observe what's out there. Oh, no. Nice. That's yeah. good. And then use it for your own style, uh, to influence your own styling? Is that that's what you're of doing? Of course. That's yeah, a yeah. great idea, right? Absolutely. So well, if, for example, you could go to Vancouver and take some of the style from... I've already got the Canadian kind of thing down. So, you know, we went to, like, other places. Velvet jacket is quite Canadian. Flannel. Yes. <laughs> Work boots. Work boots. Plaid. Open toe espadrilles. <laughs> Very rarely. Yeah. But the show this year is, um, you know, a lot of my clients are on it. Um, you know, you really get to see me. Do you have working. the famous clients? Yes. Who are they then? Oh, uh, can't you say? I can't say just yet. Gwyneth. <laughs> I wish. That's in my dreams. Well, like, what Gwyneth Paltrow is? You're yeah. trying to find a dress for Gwyneth Paltrow? All the time. I could easily find you a dress for Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> How so? Blue. Just give her a blue dress. <laughs> Why a blue one? <laughs> Because it's Coldplay. Because <laughs> it's Coldplay. Yeah, Coldplay. He's always wearing blue, isn't he? They always wear blue and little epaulets. I'm, yeah, saying, I'm asking him, like, you have any Crikey. idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> he always kind of looks like he's in Les Mis. I think both of them look like they're hungry. That's what I, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, they're almost like... <laughs> when will the buffet be open? <laughs> but she's, like, all, like, vegan and raw and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Like Hooray. Stella McCartney. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, are you... I'm gluten free. Oh my God, that's a that's a hot. <laughs> Don't say gluten free. No, we, we've got a big gluten convention in tonight. It, it was the wrong time. Sorry, the guys. gluten manufacturers of America. Is, this is their big annual event. They come to this show, and we do this big gluten presentation beforehand. And oh, everybody has gluten, and now you're saying you're gluten free. Well, let me just tell you that the gluten free lifestyle is really amazing. So maybe I've impacted one person in this audience. Or not. <laughs> All right, uh, can I interest you in a coconut? Sure. Uh, you want to smash it or you just want to keep it? What do we smash it with? Our bare hands. <laughs> I have really tiny wrists. <laughs> <laughs> I might... Then let's just enjoy them for what they are, <laughs> shall we? I love that. Brad Garaski, everybody. <laughs> You know, he is right. <laughs> Brad Goreski, everybody, Brad Goreski. Brad, Brad, you look, you look sensational. I'm concerned about the no socks, though. I don't know. Why? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's kind of, I, I expect you to provide garment entertainment. <laughs> and there is, you know, I mean, your ankles are adorable, but... <laughs> It's like my way of flirting with the audience, like a Victorian lady, you know, she would like lift up her dress a little bit and show her ankles. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> You disappoint me. <laughs> really? I don't know. I mean, don't they wow. this kind of thing? Yeah. Look at that, see? That's and nice. I like that. You know what uh, drives people crazy? <laughs> like, if you roll your sock down and there's a little mark of where the sock was. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. If you ever want to uh, get a lady, and I'm not saying that you will, but if ever you do... <laughs> It's not going to happen. That, uh, well, you never, never say never. <laughs> true. Very Although true. I think we could possibly say never. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Uh, the secret's out. Oh, I don't know. Those are nice socks. Do you like them? I do, very much. Yeah. Very much. I like the whole look tonight. Thanks. Yeah, it's no, really thanks. nice. I like your whole look. Thanks. Well, I wore this for you. It just feels a little like... Oh, sort of Scottish? Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, a little tiny bit. bit. Yeah, yeah. No, I see where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. When you came out, I went, I'm home. I know, oh, that's yeah. what I figured, yeah. No, it's nice. Thank I like you. it. It's very... Uh, you uh, look like you've been... Uh, you've been some kind of fitness regime or something? Yeah, I've been working out a little you bit. You look good, man. Thanks. Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to be 36, and I figure this is kind of my last stab. <laughs> <laughs> If I get my last stab at 36, I would not be as upbeat as I am today. Well, here. 
this is why it's my last stab because I was a I was a heavy child, so, so I've been working high. for like years and years and years at getting a cute body, and so mm. I figure like now if I don't get it drilled into, oh, forget it. I'm, no, I no, no. no, 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 you're absolutely drilled right. Drilled into my body. No, then, no, 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 like muscle memory. Yeah, that kind of thing. No, no, it's it's right, and also it's healthy. It's good for you. It's, it you is know, good for you. Now in the show, uh, you go to Dubai. I did shopping. Is that the idea? No, I was there actually uh, working with Kate Spade New York, who's a, a brand that I work with a lot. And right. we were there. Um, nice plug, by the way. Oh, thanks. yeah. No, I didn't. I hardly noticed it go by. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Well, that's why I was there. Right, right. So right. I was there, and we threw this like huge party, and uh, I dressed a bunch of VIPs, and it was very. Uh, it was. It was a very interesting place to go to. Dubai. Have you been to Dubai? I've been to Bahrain or Bahrain. Oh, yeah. yeah it's quite close by. I have a story about Bahrain. Yeah, me too. Oh, what's your story? I can't really tell it. I can't either. Really? <laughs> no. I... <laughs> yeah. Is yours kind of illegal? Uh, no. <laughs> Mine isn't illegal in America. Uh, right, me neither. Right. Yeah, I know exactly what... Yeah, we had the same thing. No, no, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, but hey, you know, good time. Yeah. Good time. Dubai is was that what fun. you're doing on the show this season then? Going to different places? Or is it just. Uh... Uh, yeah, I've been to, back home to Toronto, obviously New York. A lot's happened in LA. And then Dubai is. Uh, the second to last episode and then the finale which um, you know will be on next week is uh, me with the gorgeous Stacy Keebler who's one of my clients oh right yes. and uh, what you got to do with her <laughs> um, I just dress her I style her for the American Music Awards you seem suspicious I have that look about me but oh, okay. I, I'm not actually <laughs> suspicious at all I you shouldn't be a little bit really yeah well Canadians aren't suspicious no that's true yeah. that's true I do like Canadians not all of them. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. You can't like an entire nation. What is it, like 35 million people well, in Canada? Yeah, I don't like all of them. You can't like either. all of them. That being so I, like, I like most of them. Yeah, you don't like Celine Dion, I know I that. do like Celine Dion. Oh, Celine you do? Dion. But I don't know her. I just had oh. a dream about her once. What was the dream? I had this, did I never tell you this? I don't think so. I had this dream once. This is true. I had this dream that uh, Celine Dion came up to me and she was drunk. I don't even know if she drinks. But she came up to me and she said, I've had a little too much candy. <laughs> and that was it. But I've never that. actually met her at all. That was the dream. That was the entire... So I told it on the show the following night. Got an Emmy. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know if she would be that, that... You know Celine Dion? I wish more than anything that I knew Celine Dion. Really? Yeah. I'm sure she'd be delighted for having you dress her. No? No, I heard, though, that she travels with all of her own to um, photo shoots. She comes with her own trunks and trunks of clothes and, like, a big trunk filled with jewelry, which I think is beyond glamorous. I don't know. I like hand luggage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not code like, for something like... that you can get in Dubai. <laughs> no, I just mean I like, you know, I like to travel. Like, do you carry bags and bags? And just... Absolutely not. Right, because, no. you know, you you got to fold it and go. Yeah, yeah, I keep, like, a very small amount of... Of, of stuff to travel. Yet with. you're always stylish. So do you steam? I bring a steamer with me. Really? Yeah, I do. Everywhere I go. I'm fascinated by. Not that. everywhere. I didn't bring one here, but I bring. Well, one. we we have a steamer here. Yeah, you do. You're equipped with that. You have one, so. <laughs> I have a steamer. Yeah. No, it's true. It is. <sighs> <laughs> so the show ends next week. The show ends next week. You going on vacation? You going away? Abs no, no, no. I'm going to um, uh, to New York because the the Met Ball is happening right. in Manhattan in a couple of weeks. I never so. miss that. <laughs> I know. What's that? Have you been? I don't even know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, Vogue, yeah. <laughs> Vogue throws. It's a fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it's a big. I like art. Yeah. You'll All right, it. there you are. It's then a big fashion extravaganza. A gonza? Uh, <laughs> extravaganza. A gaza? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, oh, good. Yeah. You've uh, changed, man. I have? Yeah, they don't say a gonza in Canada. Uh, well, man, no. they might actually. You know. I don't think they do. No. No, it's a little bit too. Um, Effervescent? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, exuberant. Yeah, but you know, those exuberant Canadians, yourself, for example. I am a little bit, yeah. yeah Celine Dion? Have you ever seen her live? No, only my dream. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner, he's uh, Canadian. He's very flamboyant. 
Really? Well, yeah. I isn't his... Okay. Really? Kind of. Does isn't flamboyant like mean old? something different? <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely classified as flamboyant. Well, yes, but that's all right. I mean, flamboyant isn't a thing to be, you know, in any way judged. It's, it's adorable. Oh, I love, I think... Flamboyance? I it's fantastic. It's entertaining. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Do you get a lot of joy from looking at other people's clothing? Yes. You mean like what, like on the red carpet? No, or? I'm just I'm talking actually about, you know, in your life. Like if you sit down somewhere in New York and have a cup of, like, a cup of coffee oh, in the yeah. window, you, you know, you check it all out. And, and I, can't, I can't not tell somebody if I like what they're wearing, too. I think that's okay. It's if you can't not tell them if you don't like what they're wearing, that's a no, problem. No, never. Well, personal style is all a matter of taste. So right. Just because it might not be something that... I, trust me, I probably wore outfits last week that people would, like, roll their eyes at. I actually think yeah, I wore but never a few mind this them. weekend. Never mind them. It, yeah, I don't, I don't mind them at all. let haters get you down, Brad. You're oh, really never. Nice. No, 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 no. There's no room for haters. No, no. I get up. Uh, yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah, that's awful. But how do you deal with the red carpet thing? Because if you're asked to comment on something, usually what they want is a snarky comment about what, you know, some, uh, you know, lovely woman is wearing. It's usually it's women. Men don't get the same kind of trouble, really. So, so. Yeah. We, we, in my, like, little group of friends, we call it KIC, Keep It Cute. Yeah. Yeah, so it's adorable. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have to keep your comments cute. You know, you start off with something positive, and then you kind of veer into, well, I would have done this differently. So, uh, awkward pause, frisbees at the horse. Uh, you want some uh, stuff? <laughs> what kind of stuff do you have? Well, I got a pen. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a marker pen, so you can sniff it and get high. <laughs> Is that considered a relapse? Yes. Oh, I don't want one of those then. Because right, well, I wouldn't be able to resist Well, what about it. some chocolate dollars? Oh, I love those. Yeah, there you are. Then. Do I get to have one or the whole dish? You, my friend, <laughs> always are the whole dish. Brad Goreski, everybody. <laughs> My next guest is a very beautiful man with, he's got a beard, I just saw he has a beard. Do you see he has a beard? Yeah, he's got a beard. <laughs> does, he, does he have a beard? Well, I just, I had a look at him backstage and it seems he has a beard. Oh my goodness, a beard. Well, I should, I should invite him out. Bring him out. And we'll see if he's still got it. All right. <laughs> Brad Goreski, everybody, Brad Goreski. You, you grew a beard. I did. That's it, what I've been doing. It looks great. Thank you very you, you, much. You look like a sort of scientist. Really? Yeah, but a fabulous scientist that knows about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the science of sparkles. That's yeah. what I've been working on. The science of sparkles. Yeah. Sounds like a book. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we could work on it together or maybe just... You could do it yourself. I don't know, but <laughs> the science. How have you been? What's going on? I've been really good. I've yeah. been, um, you know, chilling out, growing a beard, yeah. getting back to my Canadian roots. Oh, really? Have you moved back to Canada? No, just with the beard. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Flannel, facial hair. Right. I thought that I'd try to make the foray into at least trying to fool people into thinking I'm kind of butch for a little bit. No, I, I think you look a little bit butch. Really? Yeah, because... Yeah, well, I open my mouth. No, I... <laughs> no, I, I well, uh, yes, a little bit, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in theater school, I had um, the first... You went to theater school? I did. I'm shocked. Really? <laughs> not, not shocked at all. <laughs> I did... Um, I had a, a, one of the girls um, who became a very close friend of mine told me that um, she thought that I was really hot until I spoke. Well, she probably maybe, what she meant was that she thought she could, you could be one thing to her, right. and then when you started talking, she went, oh, he's going to be my friend instead. <laughs> exactly. That, that, that's, I don't think she meant anything bad by it. I think she was just voicing her own disappointment. Right. Because she was attracted to you physically. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, until I spoke. And then I helped her um, pick out dresses, which is what I do now, so it all worked well, out. Well, it all worked out fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you ever look at a dress and think, I'd like to wear it? Yes. Really? All the time. Really? <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you don't do that, that's too. not your thing, is it? Well, it's, I'm not like 
I have a very hairy chest. So right, right. It's not very well, real. Well, they have they have procedures for that kind of thing. <laughs> well, those are kind of like the manny ones. Like I would want to be real. You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah, I'd yeah. want to look real. But I I actually have quite a few photos of me in some pretty famous dresses. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, no I, was, I don't. No, I've no, no. I'm just thinking before. about. I'm just thinking about. If I'd like to see those you photographs. Would <laughs> what are we talking about famous dresses? Dresses that were worn on red carpets for movies and that kind of thing? Yeah, for All right. sure. What about the Elizabeth Hurley one at the Four Weddings and a Funeral? Remember oh, that? I would love to. The Versace, Versace safety pin dress? I was at that premiere. Really? Yep. What were I was you at, wearing? Uh, who cares? She was wearing that. <laughs> I, I remember seeing it because it was just like it was a piece of cloth at the front and then like gold safety pins down the side. And then a piece of cloth at the back. I yeah. followed her around the whole night. And how did, <laughs> how did that go? Uh, I was eventually arrested. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, that, was, that kind of made her career, really, that thing. Yeah, a dress it? can make a career. Really? Yeah. Is that what girls, are, like when actresses come to you for advice, that's what they're looking for, make that kind of impression? Well, I think what they want is to make an imprint on the world of fashion. You know? Okay. We ha it, has a big, it has big selling power. You know? Yeah, well, I guess it would. I mean, but then again, it can go the other way. It definitely can. You know, it does you, far too often. Not in my hands, of course. Right, right. <laughs> but when you see, like, the fashion police shows and the other shows where they, you know, they critique the fashion, and sometimes it can really, I think, probably hurt the actress. Sometimes, yeah. yeah but that's why you work with uh, the best in the biz. Uh, you, you think you're the best? Sure. Right, okay. God, if I don't think I'm the best in the business, Well, who else, else is going to? Right, you believe in yourself. <laughs> exactly. Do you have that? Do you never suffer from doubt? Like, for example, are you All the therapy? time. Yeah, I do, actually. You go to therapy? No. Oh, well, you should. Really? <laughs> Give you the confidence to wear those dresses. <laughs> actually, my parents took me to therapy to undo that. Really? Yeah. Oh, We're going mean? really deep, aren't we? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Really? What do you mean, therapy to undo what? Because you're gay? Well, it was kind of like in the... I guess it was in the late 80s, and it was like the undoing therapy. Oh, gosh. They didn't do a very good job. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Epic fail. Did you... Well, I mean, you're, you're Canadian. Do you come from, you come from a working-class background, sort I do, of, right? Yeah. The, was there a lot of prejudice? Well, because you're Actually, clearly your interests weren't lumberjacking. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I was a song and dance kid. My family was super, super supportive, so... Right. They were just trying to kind of to make to some... make sure your kids are happy. I think that would probably yeah, people make mistakes. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. They, yeah but I my dad that. would have been. I don't think I'm not good at like really guy things. Like I'm just not good. I, I Depends, define guy things. <laughs> uh. Well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talented about, in some areas. What about, I mean, you're in a very stable relationship, have been for a long time. What about kids? Are you going to have kids? Um, we're going to adopt another dog. <laughs> now, look, I've heard this kind of thing before. <laughs> and let me just say to you, I have dogs and I have children. And there are similarities, but <laughs> they're not the same. No? It's not the same thing. You can't just, like, throw the kids out in the yard and go for a soda. <laughs> I mean, not without people turning up and asking questions. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if I'm equipped for it. Oh, come on. You're a kind, sensitive human being. You're responsible. You can hold down a job and you can trim your own damn beard. Time you had a kid. <laughs> See, some of the people that have children, they're like, oh, did your glasses just fog up? They a bit? did. I just saw that. Right really there. hot. Yeah. <laughs> Here, that, have a drink of water that, over there. That, I'm burnt. What's going on? Is it the child thing? Did I get you going? Maybe. Sorry. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a touchy subject. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go there. All right. We'll is it get like off talking it? to a different person without my glasses on. You know what's interesting? It is. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, who the hell is that guy? Yeah. It's kind of a. How bad is your eyesight? Pretty bad. Really? Would you ever get the uh, laser Never. laser beams? Why not? No. Because I I would I I'm too. Um, I'd freak out a little bit too much that the laser would, like, react and just burn my eyeballs out. Oh, please. I had it done, you know. Really? Yeah, I had it done about ten or so years ago. When and? it was still in its infancy, it was being performed only in circuses. <laughs> and, <laughs> and... I mean, you had to go back and the carny would kind of like, All right, oh, strap him down. <laughs> the carny. And, it, and, it, and it, uh, it wore off. 
What did the carny or your no, eye? No, the eye. It, what happens is that yeah, I've got an astigmatism or something, and it, it wore off again. And I, I either have to get it done again, or wear lenses, or wear glasses. I think you should do glasses. I, think I, I do really do glasses sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't wear them on the show because, you know, <laughs> some things are for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. But you know, four eyes are better than two. <laughs> In what way? Well, these, you know, four eyes. Yeah, I know what you mean, but, yeah. uh, you know, it's... Well, there's just more. It's not more eyes, it's a lens in front of your <laughs> eye. <laughs> so what's I... going on with you now, then? What's going on? What's the big project? What's the haps? What's the... Uh, you know, working on some new TV stuff. I'm mm. still uh, styling my celebrity clients, getting Good. girls ready for the red carpet. I'm going yeah, that'll to... be coming up pretty soon, all that stuff. Yeah, it's... now we have uh, Emmys in August. Oh. 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 <laughs> Uh, Luckily, that's when I take my annual vacation. To? Wherever the crikey, the Emmys are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be in Greece. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Whereabouts in Greece? Mykonos. Oh, yeah. The of gayest course. place yeah, on yeah. Earth. Gayest place on Earth, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like in a sign over the, when you arrive at the airport, welcome to Mykonos, yeah. you look fabulous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's just a big rainbow over it's a, it. Like, it, it. It is a very, it's a very popular uh, destination with the gay community from all over the world, I believe. Yeah, it's where right. I met my boyfriend. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's what, in a bar? No, I was like walking down the street with a lot of Canadian, like, attitude. <laughs> well, pardon me for sounding like I'm behind the times, but I don't know what the hell Canadian attitude is. <laughs> well, whatever it is, it works. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely to see you. Nice you look great. You I too. love your beard and your Thanks. hair and your glasses. Stick with it. Thank you very much. All right. Brad Goreski, everybody. All right. <laughs> well, that's it. Show's over. All right. You want to uh, go get, get a brewski? Yeah. Or maybe go to Mikros together, you and I. <laughs> Let's get a brewski in Mykonos. Yeah, that sounds good, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm a recovering alcoholic and not gay. <laughs> well, I can drink the beer. I see where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow, everybody.